I'm David. I'm Kaylee. And this is the Pedal Cruiser. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of our van. So this is our main space and behind me is our kitchen. So um, underneath here we have our Dometic fridge. It is actually huge. It doesn't look all that huge from the outside, but we've actually never completely filled it up. We always have some space in there. And we have a little freezer up top too, which is really nice for frozen fruit or ice or kind of whatever you need to put in there. Above that, we have our pantry, which is pretty much where all of our dry food lives. Um, we've got like our pasta, our canned stuff, anything that doesn't need to go in the fridge pretty much hangs out up there. And then this is basically just a junk drawer where we put all of our odds and ends that we don't have any other home for. Um, we have our mag magnetic knife holder over here, which is very strong. We've only ever lost one knife once that flew off and we were turning a hard corner, but other than that, we've been pretty good. Um, and this is actually just stick on tile. I really wanted a tile backslash, but we weren't sure how the grout and everything would hold up. So we went with the stick on tile and it actually is fantastic. Um, up here is where we keep our toilet trees in these bins and then some extra cups, um, coffee filters, things like that. We have a propane stove, uh, two burners that works fantastic in here. And it's really thin too, which is nice because underneath we have our utensils. Um, kind of odds and ends, um, bowls, avocado holders, um, a battery operated blender, things like that. And all of our pa pots and pans, cutting boards live underneath. This cubby above the sink is for kind of dry food spices. We have our magnetic spice holder along the top and we put um, fruits and vegetables that don't need to go into the fridge into this little cubby here. And we have a very deep stainless steel fridge. Actually, this is one thing that we probably would have got shallower, shallower if we did again. It just takes a lot of water to fill it up, but it is nice for hiding dishes if we like don't want anybody to see. We just pull this guy out, put it on top. <laughs> And it's extra counter space too, which is really nice. Underneath here, we have our propane cabinet. This cabinet is airtight and vented to the outside. And the last drawer of the kitchen is this one here. We've just got our plates, bowls, and some extra cups. One of the things that we didn't like about the van that we rented, there were no windows and it was super dark inside. So we wanted light and natural light. So we started like looking, looking, and then we just kind of got, well, maybe we'd, it should cover like our whole kitchen and yeah. then not the, yeah, so. <laughs> if we would have got a van with windows, it would have been different. Like we didn't have any windows and we were like, oh, it's kind of cool having the skylight because it's still light, but we have more privacy that way. Yeah. So across from the kitchen, we have on the sliding door, a big, nice mountain art piece uh, that we really love. It really adds to the space. Nice to look at as well. And then onto the bench area, which is mostly just storage. We have just a shoe space. We wanted a space where we can basically toss all of our shoes in, not worry about getting anything else wet or muddy. And it's also accessible from outside, which is really nice uh, during summer and winter. This half of the bench is actually lockable. So we keep all of our electronics tucked away in here and lock it when we leave the van for a long period of time. Uh, we also have our battery monitor and the switch for our inverter charger down here. Above the bench, we have a mirror, which can't say I use a lot, but Kaylee really likes it. It does come in handy um, just because it's nice to get ready, be able to look at yourself, all that sort of stuff. Uh, above the mirror, we have our skylight. So this was a bit intimidating to install. Basically had to cut a massive hole in the roof, um, but it works out great for me being 6'3". I can stand up fully, stretch out, super nice. 
our favorite part of the van for sure. At night um, in the mountains, you can look up and the stars are just all across the sky. Below the bed, we have four more drawers here tucked away. They are essentially all just closed storage. So this is where um, I keep, you know, I get one drawer, Kaylee gets three drawers, uh, it tends to work out. But yeah, this is where all the clothes go. And then above these two drawers, we have our slide out table, which is the exact same as the butcher block for the kitchen. And this is honestly like probably second favorite part of the van. We um, use it a lot for working, uh, for eating, and then it's super easy just to tuck away and don't have to worry about it. Okay, next up is the bed. We were really, really excited to be able to fit a queen size mattress in here. Um, Dave and I rented a camper van before we built this one and it was on a bed that was converted into a table and we just found that to be the biggest pain ever. Like we never converted it into a table because you have to find somewhere to put all of your sheets and everything. So we swore that we would get a queen size mattress if we got a van. So we did that, which is really, really nice. We have three cubbies along the side that we put clothes in um, and a little bookshelf. And we were able to put a little plant up here, some in the back just to make it a little bit more um, homey. But we wanted to keep everything white, just kind of to make it look more clean. And we were also hoping to make it feel as big as possible. Um, we talked about doing wood on the roof, but ultimately ended up going with white just to kind of try to make the space feel as big as we could. Well, I would probably make it four by four and jack it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just so when you're like on those back country roads and stuff, you don't have to worry about that. Um, Do you have an answer? Would you change something? Oh, I don't know. I really like it. Mm. I really like our van. So this is a 2005 Dodge Sprinter 3500. Uh, it's got the du dual rear wheels, which help a lot with the stability. Um, we have Raptor line the outside for durability and to help cover up all the rough rust spots on the van when we first bought it. On the roof, we have the roof fan close to the front of the van, and then we have a large skylight followed by 540 watts of solar power. This is the garage area of our build. On the right side here, we have all of our solar gear. So I have a 2000 watt inverter charger. I have 200 amp hours of lithium battery power that is actually also heated because we're here in Canada, it gets freezing in the winter time and the heated battery really helps out. Um, behind the solar stuff, we have our water tank. It's roughly about 80 liters. Beside it, we have our 12 volt pump and then the accumulator, which helps with pressure and regulation throughout the water system. On the left side here, we have our hot water heater, uh, which runs to our shower tap and also to the kitchen sink. This shower tap also feeds the sh outdoor shower that we are currently working on and getting close to finishing. This is our outdoor shower. Uh, took a lot of time to think about this, but it is fairly simple actually. Built uh, two brackets here and then ordered a shower kit off of Amazon. We're still waiting on the curtain. It's gonna go all the way around, obviously. And then we have a little sh suction cup here that holds our shower head and the hose runs inside, screws on to our shower attachment just inside the, on the other side of this wall here. And then we have just a little platform to stand on. And this is uh, kind of how we shower. Now that it's built, like, yeah. it's just like a ticket to freedom, essentially. Mm -hmm. You can go anywhere, and, yeah. Yeah, it's so easy. It's like, it feels like an extension of our house. We're just like, okay, just move a couple things in and then... Gone. Gone, yeah, yeah. so easy.